homes tonight in light of the severe winter storm that banished the island Bruce. You've been back for almost two years now. You can't expect me to believe that Gotham is the most eligible bachelor spending another Christmas alone. You just ran out of time. Knowing that tonight we put to rest one of Gotham's most heinous and relentless killers, Julian Gregory Day. Commissioner Loeb, any comment on the rumor that it wasn't actually the cops who captured Mr. Day? There is no such thing as a Batman. Captain Gordon! Captain Gordon! Commissioner Loeb! No further questions! No further questions! All units! All units! Code 10 at Blackgate Prison. Communication is down. Possible 211. Delta 6-4, en route. Dispatch 5-9. Confirm Code 10. This is a breakout. Suspect identified as Black Mask. Repeat. Code 10 suspect is Black Mask. Commissioner Loeb is being held captive. Repeat, Commissioner Loeb is 701. Here for Commissioner Lowe. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. This is Captain James. What was I supposed to do? He threatened my family. He was going to. I don't have time to discuss this, but you and I both know that doesn't make what you did right. All I did was clear my men out of one wing. I assume Black Mask owns most of them anyway. You're the warden of this prison. You're supposed to stand up to criminals, not let them push you around. Look, I just want to go home to my family. Okay, okay. 
He said it to the execution chamber. <laughs> With Loeb. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. <laughs> into this mess in the first place. of gel to break through. They say crime doesn't pay. Someone oh. ought to check the good police commissioner's pockets. Because they are mine with my money. And what have I got to show? Huh? My own men in the slammer? Nah, I'm no more. Move. No, tonight, we're making some changes. Some big changes. You're a dead man walking, love! Knocking over the first liquor store I see. You don't stand a chance on your own. You gotta stick together. Clear out the guards, and then make a break for it. He ain't going alone. I'm going with him. And me too. I could use a drink. So this is where we part ways. Whoever's coming with me, I got the first round. Whoever's helping out Black Mask, good luck. See you never. I didn't sign up to get my ass kicked. Please 
come forward immediately. Joseph, that you will be rewarded for information which leads to an arrest. Attention, death row inmates. Please remain calm and stay in your cells. A police operation... Christmas Eve, and he is the calendar man. <laughs> and that's just too perfect to ignore. You're gonna owe me for this, Julian. That could be useful. Uh, sir, what do we do about low? Bring him in, bring him in. What's all this about, Sionis? Haven't I always come through for you? You may have, Gillian, but uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it? After all, I've done for you. You can't do this! I'm a police commissioner, damn it! <laughs> Show's over, boys. <laughs> Too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. Back! We're never getting out of here! We got her!
Where's he going? The boss of me is me. I want teeth. I want answers. Wait till Black Mask's assassins get through with you. What assassin? <laughs> Whoever wins is gonna be famous. thing is a bat huh? Are you back for the night, sir? Shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. Assassin, sir. As in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile man. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers. The best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson. Deathstroke. Former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? Garfield Lins, a.k.a. Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize. Copperhead. Strange. These reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget, not him. What the... Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot, Freeze! says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this.
Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. You're sure this is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. The Batwing is prepped and ready to take you to Jezebel Plaza, sir. A question, sir, if I may. How did Waylon Jones come to be the way he is? Atavism from the look of it. An unfortunate genetic mutation. Do you think the condition causes physical pain? Might that explain his rage? It goes deeper than that. Imagine growing up looking like he did. Children are cruel, Alfred. Uh, so are adults, sir. All part of the human condition, I suppose. We have a tendency to fear, often outright despise, that which is different. Ah, but you already knew that. If you're serious about getting to Jezebel Plaza in time to find Penguin's men, you'll want to leave soon. Well, it sounds like you found some Christmas spirit. But I refuse to let the thugs out there rob us of the night entirely. I'm surprised you didn't put up some decorations. I considered it, but decided it was better not to clutter up the place. Uh, don't worry, though. I've done a number on the house. I'm sure you have. So you'd better hurry if you're planning on getting to Jezebel Plaza before Penguin's men finish their... Uh, business. Since when did masks become de rigueur for aspiring crime lords? Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto-nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. my smoke pellets here. I am messing around. Move it. Come on. I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. Attacking head-on is a good way to get myself shot. 
and probably the hostage too, but they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Son of a bitch! The guy that hired us? You piss him off or something? No way. Besides, I don't get the sense that he's physical. Get yourself to safety and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. Oh, no. This was just Where a you going? Where's that thing? Take the tower in and out. Whoever you are, come near me. Keep back, Ross. I mean it. I can, I can fix the tower. Whatever you want. Just please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. This tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels. Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery. One you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Hmm, Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? 
with the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. I should head for Jezebel Plaza. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. Looks like the crime in progress the GCPD dispatcher just mentioned. I could go investigate, perhaps stop the crime, but I also need to get to the arms deal at Jezebel Plaza. Accelerator. I hope you'll try to keep a low profile tonight, sir. Trust me, I'll take out those assassins before they even going there. It's not just that. If some curious child looks out to see who's pattering across their rooftop, then expect Santa Claus, not a black-clad bat creature. I don't patter. <sighs> Here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little. What do you want for Christmas? Oh wait, I already know. Now let's see if you've been naughty or... Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. Where's the rest of them? Whoa, whoa, easy, Tiger. When you deal with us, 
you're dealing with the penguin. This ain't some fly-by-night operation. Let's see. Him. Die already! Systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's from the nearby GCR tower. It's the same signal jamming the Batwing's auto nerve systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the penguin. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. Nothing but text from an unlisted number. What do I care? As long as money shows up in my bank account. That's the crazy part. Did you ever give him your bank account number? I sure as hell didn't. So how is he wiring us our money? You know what your problem is? You gotta stop looking a gift horse in the mouth. Just being smart. You think it's a coincidence we get this job the same time Black Mask puts a bounty on the bat's head? I don't want to be mixed up in that. No way, no how. That old thing's gonna blow over. Yeah, as soon as Black Mask realizes the batch of mint, things will go back to normal. Hope you're right. If that means we're out of a job, so be it. when you can just throw crap at it. You know, if you had asked nicely, I'd have opened it for you. Congratulations are in order. 
Maybe you're not as stupid as I've been led to believe. Why are you doing this, Enigma? Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Now I can access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. This is Anarchy, and you're listening to Free Wave. Radio of the people, for the people. Are your party crackers bland? Area units, we have a Code 47 vehicle spotted at Dixon Docks. Keep your eyes open. In the late spring of 1919, the United States was subject to a series of bombings carried out by the disciples of Luigi Galliani. Galliani was an adherent of a philosophy known as Propaganda by the Deed. In its simplest form, it is the belief that actions speak louder than words. Now that's good jelly. This is Brendan O'Brien with a heartwarming story for our listeners on this cold Christmas Eve. It's how a little charity for those in need really goes a long way. The residents of the former Black Fire Shelter for the Homeless were in for a holiday treat this afternoon when they found piles of shoeboxes individually gift-wrapped under their tree in the shelter lobby. Apparently moved by the holiday spirit, Gotham's favorite billionaire Bruce Wayne donated 10,000 pairs of shoes to the Homeless Foundation, saying, quote, everyone deserves the means to pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. The Penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position. Ready for round three, then? Let's see what you can do. Oh, right. There are also some things we should discuss, but we can attend to them when you're finished. Assuming you can finish. Careful now! That's public property you're destroying. Crawling around in vents like a common rat. How expected. I need to figure out a way to transfer that electricity to the fuse box inside the room. That'll open the door. I bet steering that thing requires a whole lot of concentration. Oh, sorry about that! Oh, that poor door. You really should apologize. Interesting. Watching you figure that one out was a real treat. I'll make sure the next one is even more provocative. This isn't a game, Enigma. Oh, but it is. And one you're more than welcome to stop playing. Now you need to stop interfering with my work. Tackling these towers is one thing, but... My handlers, my data, my network relays, those aren't meant for you, so back off! Martial arts techniques, you have to defend yourself from an attacker. Defend yourself? You're just 
gonna stand there and defend yourself while the other guy wails on you? <laughs> this will last two rounds. You know what they say, the best offense is a good defense. Oh yeah? Who said that? Your little league coach? This is bare knuckle brawling. You'll get knocked on your ass if you can't strike. <laughs> I swear, this is why we get guard duty in the middle of the storm of the century. Because you're such a dumbass. Gotham. The Batman? You expect me to believe that? I need to find the next comm station. The then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Then mess with our shipment. That's saving his own ass. So next time you want to make up a story, you better know the person you're telling it to is dumber than you are. Oh, wait. That's right. There ain't no one dumber than you! Mr. Cobblepot, I swear it was the bat. He dropped Ricky off the roof of the clock tower straight into the Christmas tree. I don't care what you think of Sean. If you're not back here with my money in the next ten minutes, I'll cut your damn eyeballs out. And then you won't have to worry about seeing them ever again. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Cobblepot. I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. solve a problem. obstacles beyond smashing them. Who needs doors anyway? But how did... I, I was sure you'd fail. No one is this lucky. You need to stop this. Stop what? Cleaning up the streets? Ensuring the GCPD actually does its job? Removing corruption from the system? Was it one of those in particular you took issue with, or all of them? You're using the data you've stolen to blackmail people. So? It gets the job done. It's certainly kinder than the beatings you're so fond of doling out. Think on that. Yeah. 
real funny lately. On Long Island. Yeah, I heard the stories. Probably just stressed. But he's king of the damn city. Ain't no one can... <laughs> Listen up. I know I ought to cancel our annual boiler deck fights after what happened tonight at Jezebel Plaza. But just there to show you, you what a nice on guy I am, the fights are still on. So get yourself down to the ship right now if you want in on this. Penguin's been hiding out on an old ship. No wonder he's been so hard to find. I ain't waiting for laggers. My board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. got snipers out. If I want to approach unnoticed, I should silently take out these snipers. Who's the outside challenger this year? Some guy, Bushinsky. Oh, yeah, there they are. Big guy with a big mouth calls himself electric. That's right. Wait a sec. Hey. <laughs> that is shit the odds. Yeah, but I gotta call my bookie. Batman. Looks like someone brought a bat to a knife fight. I stuff this in your guts! Who's <laughs> the worst? Welcome, welcome to this year's Boiler Deck Fight. You know I always get a laugh by you first round lot. <laughs> That's why I keep you boys around! <laughs> well, that and I need someone to clean out the pisser! <laughs> Penguin is hosting some kind of fighting tournament. That's where I need to go. That's on the attack! Do I get a last request? Come on, you guys! Time to get serious.
seems like a urban myth. Oh, he's real enough. Just ask Mickey. Mickey? You know, Lefty. Lefty? Oh. Lefty. Tracy should know where that is. I'll make her talk.
Where's Cobblepot? I ain't telling you, Jack. A little more pressure and I'll crush your larynx. What's it going to be? All right, all right. Uh, he's in his office. Only way in is through the theater. On the other side of the casino. But you'll never get past Tracy. Tracy is not a problem. Uh. That worked better than the last interrogation. This idiot doesn't know anything. My best bet for finding Black Mask lies with Penguin. Someone as paranoid as Black Mask wouldn't trust a loudmouth like him with any secrets. If I want to find Sionis, I need to find Penguin first. Penguin will know where I can find Black Mask. Electrocutioner won't have any reliable information. Breaking into this ink. <laughs> All part of Penguin's plan, I'm sure. Question is, can Tracy stop him before he gets to the boss? I ain't that worried about it. Tracy, she knows what she's doing. She's tough, ain't she? Oh, on everything but the eyes. What is that thing? Assassins, Lester Baczynski. The Electrocutioner. Are you all right? Yes, but he managed to escape. His gloves put out a strong electromagnetic pulse. If you can isolate the signal, I'll be able to track him down. I'll get to work on that. Where are you off to now? I'm on my way to the final offer's casino. I'm going to make Penguin's assistant show me to her boss. The casino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office. Christmas bonus. You hear about the last guy who lifted a few bucks? Penguin told him he could work it off at the bottom of the harbor. Hey, I was just asking. Less asking, more packing. <laughs> Pain in 
me bottle. Mr. Cobblepot ain't taking new visitors, and there ain't no way I'm letting you into the museum, so you can be on your merry way. Show him the door, then. security room. They just told her I was working for the machine, and there weren't a damn thing she could do about it. Like that, huh? Yeah, like that. I mean, like she's making enough she can tell me what to do. Yeah, you're right. You can't let him get the upper hand. That's what my dad always said. Of course, Mom would slap him right after. <laughs> herself a dry slap she has that better be lip gloss you're reaching for I knew you didn't have what it takes to fight me fair Cobblepot ain't gonna be happy when he hears about this come on enough's enough open her up and let me out Smiley pirates. They were gonna sell her for scrap if you can believe it. <laughs> now she weren't always called a final offer. That was my work of genius. <laughs> you 
in a previous life, she was the hybrid cargo cruise liner Olivia B. Meredith, a proud old ship indeed. They don't build them like this anymore. Tough as nails, and with all the amenities a man could want. Those pirates don't know what they let slip through their fingers. What do you want? I didn't do nothing. Who's your boss? What does Penguin want with him? Alberto Falcone. But I got no idea what Penguin wants with him, I swear. I don't know what your game is, but old man Falcone will be in your debt if you take Cobblepot down. He's right through that door back there. No thanks. I don't need the Falcones in my debt. Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Try to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. No, 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 please! <laughs> 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 Now you best listen, Falcone. Cause this is the last time I'll ask. What are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I want to hear. You idiot! Here I come. Please! Don't hurt me! Come on now! Remind me why I pay you boxes! Punch him in the face! Kick his ass, you nutty brats! Are you waiting for a personal invitation? Oh. What are you waiting for? Kill him, you bloody wanker! Don't stand there, kill him! Now hold on. Hold on a bloody minute! Oh. I seen your act! I ain't done nothing you've not done! Oh. Oh. Black mask! Put a bounty on my head. Where is he? I don't keep tabs on him in Giza with a grudge. You're not a popular bloke in this town. You're running out of time. Wait, wait. <coughs> Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his same house. But, or Black Man. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there! It 
it appears the game is over before it even begins. I'm not playing games, Slade. Tell me where I can find Black Mask. Your methods and tactics are impressive, but in fear. Deathstroke's device to get up to the balcony. <laughs> you have more luck getting into a nun's skivvies than getting. 
getting into this room. Go on, then. Feel it a bit harder. Really make me feel it. Well, as you can see, I got the answer. Have a Merry Christmas, and piss off. Alfred, see if you can find any information on a murder at Lacey Towers. Hmm, looks like the police are on the scene now, sir. Oh, and this is interesting. They're saying Black Mask is the victim. Black Mask dead. I'm on my way there now. I don't have time to interrogate Deathstroke. The police are already on the scene at Lacey Towers. I doubt Black Mask would trust Deathstroke with any useful information. I should follow Penguin's lead and hurry to Lacey Towers. Looks like I can use the remote claw I took from Deathstroke. Alfred, get GCPD to take a look at the final offer. More to Dixon Docks. They'll find Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them, along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous tip? Will do, sir. Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am Anarchy, voice of the people here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. I was hoping to get a minute of your time. See, I've got a story to tell you about crime and violence, greed and vengeance. But it's also a story of redemption, of second chances, of change. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Whoa, whoa, easy now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. Officers on scene report victim appears to have fallen from a nearby building. Once the money's gone, we'll have a new system. Better one. You don't look friendly. I ain't got much left. They say money makes the world go round. It also makes the world so shabby. You're tied to your Alfred, we've got a problem. So I saw this anarchy fellow mentioned free. three bombs, which means two still remain. I need to find them. I've no doubt you will, sir.
Police know the victim fell from a nearby building. There's not much else in the file. His identity might shed some light on things. Brian Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. This blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. The railing here is broken. Was it an accident or was he pushed? Uh, two sets of footprints means the victim wasn't alone. And the scattered paperwork suggests he had a briefcase. I need to find that. Interesting. There are two sets of fingerprints here. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes, a well-known con artist. Alfred, I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have a search area. Check your display. Investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. Still for a second. On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. What a shit case. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. I mean, we found the bastard stuck in little fingerprints right by the body. Yeah, we got Penguin now. I'd like to see him squirm out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. Yeah, so forensics will take all the credit. And I'm the one who found the prints. That's why they call it first response. First pickings on the loot, but none of the glory. Me, I'd take the loot over the glory any day. Oh. Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. But why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. 
but the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room, but these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. I can keep going! Eight two. Come in, eight two. Sit back, Delta four four. Can you raise Delta eight two? Stand by four four. Delta eight two. Delta eight two. Come in. Delta eight two. Come in. Delta eight two. Report. Delta 4 4. No response from 8 2. Please proceed inside to confirm 8 2's status. 10 4 dispatch. What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a con I run a hundred times.
but then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk him warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? <clears throat> Alfred, contact the GCPD and let them know Brian Murphy's killer has been apprehended. Send over the evidence as well. Consider it done, sir. We gotta shut him down to shut him up. Otherwise, we'll never be free.
Interesting. Even after knowing all you did about the places I targeted, you spared them. Sorry to disappoint you. Disappoint me? Not at all. Come on down to the courthouse so we can continue Gotham's trial. I'm upping the stakes, Batman, just like I promised. Tread carefully. Oh boy! You sure showed that crate who's in charge. How pedestrian. Try and put some effort into it at least. I see you up there, you freak. Another day, another door. There's just no match for you. You're cheating, aren't you? You're getting help from someone. But who? Who's smart enough to outsmart me? <laughs> no one's helping me, Enigma. Did you ever consider maybe you're not as clever as you think? Says the man who seems to have mistaken Christmas Eve for Halloween. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I've got the entire city under surveillance, feeding me all of its dirty little secrets. And I did it all on your watch, oh great guardian of Gotham. So, what do you have to say to that? I'm taking your network down. <sighs> Spoken like a true Neanderthal. Well, you can certainly try. I'm so glad you came. It's an honor, really. There's so much for us to discuss. What do you want? I'd like to propose an alliance. I think the two of us could accomplish great things together. I don't work with criminals. You need to turn yourself in. Tell you what. I'll turn myself in as soon as you do the same. But you don't consider yourself a criminal, do you? The suit, the gadgets, the sense of entitlement. Just another rich kid atoning for his fiscal sins. Such a shame. We are the Anarch! Someone! 
What does it matter? I wanted to make a difference. I thought you'd feel the same. I do, but not like this. A lot of innocent people almost died tonight because of you. Innocent? They watched as Gotham went to hell and didn't do a thing! They're just afraid. No, they're weak! And so are you. The police are on their way. You ever wonder how things got to be so bad here? I do. All the time. See, I don't think men like Roman Sionis or Oswald Cobblepotter... Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. I just used his arrogance to my advantage. A textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. We might have to cancel New Year's at Wayne Manor. It's going to take a while for the city to recover from tonight. Absolutely not, sir. I didn't realize the party meant so much to you. It doesn't. Only... It's one of the rare times you actually seem to enjoy yourself. I enjoy myself plenty, Alfred. I hope you're lying. For both our sakes. Your detective work tonight is most impressive, Master Bruce. A shame it couldn't be of the armchair variety. I 
bursting. Love to go take a look, but you know, my ship's over. Loeb. Loeb understood. The problem is. This won't be easy. But if I'm going to access the National Criminal Database and find out what happened at Lacey Towers, I need to find the server room without being discovered. becomes bringing in the bat before these assassins get to it. Now, the closer it gets to morning, the more desperate the assassins will grow. And if he's still out there, the more damage they'll cause to the city as they try to find or attract him. All right, dismissed. Yeah, well, they were supposed to be guarding the crime scene, not Gavin. No wonder the bat got the drop on him. Yeah, tell them to keep their eyes open next time. Must you be so brutal, sir? These are city employees. They're as corrupt as they come, and they're in my way. I wish you'd think twice about that approach, sir. You never know when you might need their help. At any rate, your objective is the GCPD server room. I've marked it on your map. Sunrise, <laughs> yeah! Right in the jaw! stand a chance against that many armed men. I can use Deathstroke's remote claw to pass above their heads undetected. All right, listen up. While you jokers were playing cleanup through a black gate, I was making us some money. I worked out a deal with our pal Black Mask. If any of us can kill the bat before the assassins get to him, we get the bounty. All 50 million dollars of it. And for those of you who ain't too good with the math, that means we all retire early. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take him down then. Yeah. What are we waiting for? Enough. We only get one night to get this done. So whatever they put you on tonight, I want you to blow it off. Finding and killing the bat is your number one priority. That clear? Yes, sir. All clear. Clear as day, sir. You got it. Sir, yes, sir. Questions? Shout them out. How are we going to keep this from Gordon and the rest of the force? Well, for starters, you're going to keep your damn trap shut. Anyone else? Sir, what about the assassins? Will they see us as competition? Yeah, I didn't sign up to be on those guys' hit list. Look, you all put your lives at risk when you signed up for SWAT. If you want to make the big money, you're gonna have to accept bigger risk. That's how it works. Anyone wants out, you can hand me their badge. Didn't think so. We good to go? Wait, Brandon, how do we know Black Mask will keep his end of the deal if we do kill the bat? He's good for the cash, trust me. And I know where he's stashing it. You know where he's got the cash. Why don't we go get it? Because the last thing we need is a war with Black Mask and his men. Come on, guys. Let's do this.
other scumbag. We can't find dirt. We make our own. I'm listening. What if Captain Gordon allowed all the perks in the holding cells to go free? You mean we set him loose? Little prison riot right here in GCPD makes him look like he doesn't have control, right? I... How do we make it happen? Let me think a minute. Don't let him escape! What does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of none of your damn business. Oh, you want to play it like that? All right. Maybe I'll have the guys over at Evidence Lockup take a look. They can get kind of rough, though. Hope it's not fragile. You want to play hardball, buddy? How's about I tell my cousin at the Gazette about the payments you boys been extorting from Penguin and the like? Scum like you's got a cousin at the Gazette. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? Don't see you call an evidence lockup, now do I? You cops are all the same. You ain't getting nothing out of me. Like I said, I got all night. You and me both, pal. Or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs! They got it in evidence lockup! How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win! It, it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks, all right? Now you gotta let me go! How'd that work out for you last time? He will wipe this city clean of your filth! Yeah? If he's gonna wipe things clean, he should start with you. <laughs> Good one. Get yourself to a shelter. You kidding? That's where they round us up! Hey, you don't get it. Anarchy gets it, but you... Hey, you don't get it, man. He'll send the tape to the press. What the hell am I supposed to do? That's the best you got? How am I gonna whack him if I don't know who he is? Guy's a mystery, complete friggin' enigma. Yeah, great advice, thanks.
Agreed. He is the worst kind of criminal. The kind who thinks their actions are justified. Who acts completely outside the system. The system is broken. Barbara, wait. Quadrant? Eh, I'll leave that for the boys in SWAT. Why's that? Ain't you heard? Brandon made a deal with Black Mask. They're trying to kill the bat and collect the bounty. You gotta be kidding me. Gordon know about this? Probably, but what's he gonna do? What can he do? Hell, he's lucky if Brandon and those guys ever listen to him. This department is so screwed. Hey, uh, how do we get in on the bounty? security protocol I'm not familiar with, and the windows are reinforced glass. Hmm. The disruptor in the evidence locker might do the trick. Teach him some respect! Alfred, I can't access the evidence locker. I need an alternate route. The evidence locker, sir? Well, according to these schematics, it adjoins an old elevator shaft which you can access via the infirmary. You should be able to break in from there. I've added it to your map.
face on your head. Come to turn it in. Infirmary. Now look for an entrance to an old elevator shaft. That will take you to the evidence locker. Got it. I should be able to bypass the security on the server room door. Let's get him to Gotham General. Will do. Soon as he stabilizes. Please, we don't want any trouble. I'm not here to hurt you. access to the National Criminal Database. It's right here. You must spend a lot of time here.
cool poem box. You're bypassing the network security. Hmm. But you'll need to physically bridge the intranet to the external telecom wires if you want to uplink remotely. This kind of knowledge could get a young girl into a lot of trouble. They run under the building. What does? The telecom wires. You can access them through the sewers. Wait. Why do you do what you do? Because I made a promise. Get out of here! <laughs> Alfred, I'm on my way out, but before I can access the server remotely, I need to hack into the telecom wires under the GCPD. You should be able to access them from the sewers which run below the building. I'll peg the closest entrance on the map. They say the Penguin's man said the disruptor can be used to jam their weapons. Sir, yes sir! Form up! you, but you need to stay out of my way. Uh, never! Listen, I'm on your side. My side? My side works within the law. My side doesn't leave suspects with broken bones and missing teeth. We've earned Gotham's respect. If that were true, I wouldn't believe you. Gordon, clear the line of fire! Hold your fire! If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Move, Gordon! I'm taking him down! a nearby manhole on your map. Those sewer tunnels lead directly under the GCPD. Good work, Alfred. Oh, and, sir, do try to keep out of the uh, uh, muck down there. Remember who has to clean your suit. Uh, hello? Hello, Bat...
Batman? It's Barbara. Sorry for uh, hacking into your comms, but I need a favor. Some evidence crates have gone missing. Army grade stuff, and no one here is doing anything about it. So I'm sending you their GPS location information. Use your weapon disruptor on any crates you find. It'll fry their circuits and render the stuff useless. We better get here soon. Desk sergeant's gonna wonder where the hell we went. Relax. If she gives us a hard time, we'll toss her a few bucks. It'll be fine. I don't get it. If Cobblepot's all hot and bothered about getting his hands on the stuff, why is he taking his sweet time picking it up? Just keep an eye out for anyone not minding their business. Last thing we need is someone poking around. One down, five to go. I can't believe there are people on the force who think it's okay to have stuff like this out on the street. Pinching from evidence is bad enough. Selling weapons? SWAT's supposed to be the good guys. I got him! He's on me! Strange. These are black masks, men. Not the kind of guys I'd expect to find running around in the sewers. Could be worse. At least he sent an expert martial artist to protect us down here. <laughs> protect us from what? The rats? No, the bat, you idiot. The bat. The bat's got better things to do tonight than hang out in the sewers. You're right. Just in case, I'm glad we got old Kung Fu on our side. And whatever makes you feel, I'm just worried about how I'm gonna get the snide in the world. Oh What are you doing with this guy? 
under the GCPD. Why are Black Mask's men planting explosives here? The cops have always been on his payroll. I almost feel bad for him. Almost. <laughs> you and me both. It's going down! Alfred, confirm we now have access to the National Criminal Database. Connection confirmed. You can now perform DNA analysis. I'm also sending over the police file for the Lacey Towers case. This photo is from the day of the murder. It's a perfect match. The DNA tells more of the story. But here's something the police overlooked. Roman Sionis owns the Gotham Merchants Bank. And he installed biometric security only he could access. Alfred, I have enough information to solve the Lacey Towers case. Here's what happened. By now, Gotham PD thinks Roman Sionis is dead. The casualty of a turf war. Murdered by the Penguin. But I know better. Someone spooked Sionis' girlfriend. So he sent her to his safe house. Which was anything but safe. Sionis showed up later ready for trouble, and found it. Or so it seemed. Roman's always been paranoid. That's probably why he's lasted this long. He'd sent in a decoy, giving himself the element of surprise. But it wasn't enough. There was a fight. Sionis lost. The killer didn't hesitate to shoot the decoy, but he wanted Roman alive to access the cash stored at the Gotham Merchants Bank. With Sionis under control, all that remained was to tie up loose ends. But it wasn't the fire that killed Sionis' girlfriend. What kind of monster forces a man to kill the ones he loves? The Joker. He's the shadow I've been chasing. And now I know where he's going next. Gotham Merchants Bank. Alfred, see if you can find any information on someone named the Joker. Searching now, sir. Hmm. 
There doesn't seem to be anything coming up. What do you know about him? Not much, but he's taken Black Mask hostage. Hostage? So, Sionis isn't dead? I don't think so. From what I can tell, he's worth more to the Joker alive. The Joker wants to use him to break into the Gotham Merchant's bank. I'm on my way there now. You were very cordially, cordially, cordially. You were very cordially invited to a party. And it will be a grand affair. Grand affair, grand affair. And it will be a grand affair hosted by the Hatter. We do hope that you can come. You could come. You can come. We do hope that you can come to share in all the joy. Greetings and salutations, Batman. I am Dervis Tetch, inventor, entrepreneur, and part-time haberdasher. You must be wondering why it is I sought you out. Well, I have an employment opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Help me! Please! If you can hear this, he's going to... <laughs> oh, don't mind Alice, poor dear. Her mind is all a flutter, and who can blame her after all she's been through? But I'll have her writer's reign soon enough. Don't you worry about that. Joker may still be here, in the vault. I should use caution. sinister going on here. You can just waltz into my bank, huh? Roman, I'm here for the Joker. The Joker? <laughs> Never heard of him. How about you, dog? Know the Joker? 
the who? <laughs> and you, sir? Name Joker? Ring a bell? <laughs> you son of a bitch! You think you can steal from me? And get away with it! You're a dead man! Dead! Can't you to play along? <laughs> Assassins, you've been running Sionis's operation. Well, technically, it's my operation now. Isn't that right, boys? You got me. Now let her go. Oh, life would be so simple if you were all I wanted. No, no, you're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got on my sleeve. <laughs> the Joker going? Guy's nuts, man. Killed about a quarter of black masked men when they wouldn't take orders from him. Unless you want to join them, talk. He said something about the steel mill. That's Sionis's mill. <laughs> it's Joker's mill now. Ain't no way you're getting in there. I didn't ask for your opinion. <laughs> Alfred. Pull schematics on Sionis Industries' steel mill. Joker's taken Sionis there. He's going to kill him. Unless I get there first. This Joker sounds dangerous. He's taken over Black Mask's operations and slaughtered the men who wouldn't turn. He's the one who hired the assassins. And it must be he who ordered the bombing of the GCPD. Oh, dear lord. Shouldn't you think about letting the police handle this one? Not a chance. He's mine. Laughter was a side effect of a poison. She wasn't laughing. She was dying. If I had known she was poisoned, I might have been able to save her. Gotta collect. 
Like that bounty? That's the plan. Remember, there's a bonus if we bring him in alive. All right, stay sharp, people. It would be the first time the bat got to jump on us. Keep your eyes open. You see even the slightest movement? Call it out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Right. Absolutely. And no more yakking. I want a dead silent. Anyone here as much as a pin drop, call it out. That's just a consolation prize, in case you fail the test. Test? I don't have time for this. Somewhere in New Gotham, an innocent man is about to die. And we both know you won't allow that. So the question is, can you find him, Batman? Can you save him? About getting my dad involved, but he'd probably just say it's a matter for IAD. He's got way too much faith in the system. I wish I could get him to see just how broken it is. I don't want any accidents. Everything needs to be perfect. Of course. Of course, sir. You must refer to me as sir at all times. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand, sir. Yes. No, sir. Of course. Oh, this is mad. <laughs> I'll have to look at refining the neural interface. Oh, good news. The best news, really. Is that it works? You all listen. Maybe not as well as you should, but it's a start. That's always been the trouble, though, hasn't it? No one ever wanted to hear what Jervis had to say. He might as well have been invisible. But now? Oh, now you'll have to pay attention. Because you won't have a choice. Uh. 
It really is an honor to make your effort. Where's the girl? W whatever do you mean? Alice. Excellent. Then you know why you're here. What are you talking about? Oh, perhaps we don't see eye to eye after all. <laughs> Let me remedy that. Tick tock, watch the clock. What did you do? Wonderland, Batman. Oh, it's where I first met Alice. You know? Oh, what grand adventures we had. But then they took her from me. Poor sweet Alice. Lost her alone. I had to find her. Had to bring her home, and so I did. It was quite the journey, let me tell you. But she's here again, safe with me. Still, the forces of the Queen are everywhere, conspiring to reclaim her, which is why I brought you here. Who better to protect Alice than the Batman himself? You've gotten yourself all turned around. Which way's in, which way's out? Oh dear, oh dear, what is my route? Well, well, you figured it out. But it taxed you, didn't it? Drained a bit of that willpower of yours, hmm? <laughs> Thoughts getting heavier? Finding it harder to maintain control? creation on their heads and just like that, they're under my control. The stronger-willed individuals, however, require a bit of, oh, breaking in. And this, my friend, brings us to the here and now. You are my Humpty Dumpty, Batman. Your mind is shattered, and when I put the pieces back together, Mine. Forever. <laughs> 
Did you know time moves in seven different directions here, but you stuck to just one? Forward, always forward? Oh, how boring. So why don't we try moving back? Tell me what you see. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Is it scary? I hope it is. In fact, I hope it scares you to pieces. Wrong. All upside down and inside out and wrong, 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 wrong. has to leave. He can, he will, he just has to leave. He can, he will, he just has to leave. Really now, you're becoming my pet peeve. are on their way. Everything's going to be all right. No, it's not. I've been flipping through the precinct's file on you, and wow, let's just say you don't have a lot of fans here. But you probably knew that already. Anyway, I've trashed some of the more ridiculous stuff. I mean, they're saying you kill people, and I know that's not your style. 
Area's been secured and prepped. Requesting a detective on site ASAP. Copy, Mr. Seven. Delta 4-1 has been assigned. According to the police report, the victim died from a single gunshot wound to the chest. But who killed him? And why? Examining the body should provide a lead. Owen Grant. He's an investigative journalist. Did an interview with him last year. Must have been chasing a big story to be out here. Now there's a camera strap around his neck. But where's the rest of it? This trail indicates the victim tried to escape before succumbing to his wounds. Spatter analysis indicates the shot came from below. Grant must have dropped the camera when he was hit. Reviewing the reconstruction will help me find it, assuming the shooter didn't get there first. Alfred, sir? I'm sending you some data taken from a camera. See if you can ID the subject in the shots. Certainly, sir. Just give me a moment. Uh, here we are. Uh, uh, one Chucky Burks. I'm sending you his last known location. after midnight. They're changing the security codes and interrogating the Black Mask. That's what I heard. Oh, great. Sounds like we'll be here all night. How are we gonna kill that? Good night, the dog! Step it up! Step it up!
What are you going on about now? All our guys, gone. Might be bandit. Benny, Paul, Frank. The bat, do you? The bat. Here? He's probably out for revenge after the boss tried to offer. find the security code for the door. Alfred, I'm uploading data from one of Black Mask's servers. I need codes to bypass the security door in the loading dock. Receiving it now, sir. Interesting. Cyanus had a pacemaker implanted. It says here he had prolonged QT syndrome. Anything that raises his heart rate could trigger cardiac arrest. Cyanus was having the Joker followed. These photos show him obtaining chemicals used in making explosives. If I find Cyanus, he'll know what the Joker's planning. Sir, I found the security codes you were looking for. You have access to the building now. I found reference to a chemical similar to the compound you need for your glue grenade. I'm going to try to synthesize it in our lab. If it works, I'll have a prototype for you as soon as the resin cures. Good. I'll need it. The more I learn about the Joker, the more I realize there's something very different about him. What was that? Find a way inside that room. Come on! Why are you messing with the plane? We're supposed to be locking this place down. Whatever, man. Serious! Knock it off! Okay, okay, let me shut it down. Why we gotta lock this place down anyway? Joker expecting the cops? I heard it ain't the cops. It's the bat. The bat. That guy for real? Well, the boss seems to think so. Yeah, well, the boss also thinks that green and purple are an acceptable color combo. What are you trying to say? The new boss is uh, a little cool. Excellent. That's where you're wrong. Green is the blue color. Yes, sir. I want you to understand me better than dead. 
gets past us and any of you can survive, we'll wish you were deader than dead too! That's more like it. <laughs> Who did this? I can use my evidence scanner to examine the body for clues. No signs of assault. Huh. His system is shut down. Acute toxicity. He's been poisoned. Sionis in here somewhere. What you say, Joe? Should we let him out? Let me think. He did give us that raise he promised us. Oh, wait. No, he never did. That's right. How could I have forgotten? Over here! 
here! Let me down! Get me out of this thing. Where's the Joker? Go to hell. Wrong answer. By my count, there are still nine more ribs I can break. Do you think that'll make me talk? After what he's put me through, the torture, turned my men on me, stole from me, murdered my woman, he's my kill, not yours! I can control your pacemaker remotely. You want to see what 250 beats per minute feels like? You wouldn't. Copperhead. Tell him and I'll pay you whatever you want. Make him suffer and I'll pay An empty promise from a fallen king. I know about the Joker. Couple of freaks. You two deserve each other. What did you do to me? I killed you. And in a few more minutes, your body will realize it. <laughs> That's it. Use your strength. With every effort, you hasten your end. <laughs> Must scan the room for... Copperhead's poison. Female perspiration. Copperhead came this way. All I need is one drop of poison. There. It's a powerful neurotoxin. Alfred, uploading analysis of a neurotoxin. I need you to synthesize an antidote. Your vitals are off the charts. What happened? Uh, never mind. Just get up to ground level so I can send in an airdrop. And after this, you're coming back here so I can have a look at you. to get back to ground level. <laughs> what would your father say if he could see you now? throwing away your family's hard-earned fortune on these frivolous nightly escapades. And for what? You're not this city's savior. You're a wane, and a spoiled, wasteful disappointment of a wane at that. Have you forgotten what your family name stands for? You disappoint me. You disappoint me. sooner. What were you doing? You're no hero. A real hero would have saved me. You let me die. 
how many more must perish before you realize? Savior, you're a curse upon this city, a plague on all of Gotham. Leave us alone! We were better off without you. I'd still be alive without you. Please, you have to save me. Please. You. What's wrong with you? You couldn't save me. Why? Why? Stop him. Why? Are you still aware? <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Be long now. in your veins and it will remain there as long as you live, which won't be very long. You think these 
ties will hold me? Maybe not. I'd like to see you have a place. I know where he is. The Joker. Tell me. He's called a meeting. All the assassins will be there. When you set me free, I'll tell you where. Thanks. I owe you one. Wait! I can tell you the location! You already did. Alfred, send GCPD an anonymous tip. Tell them to look inside the shipping containers at the steel mill. And does that mean you've dealt with Copperhead, sir? Yes, and I'm about to deal with the Joker. I don't think that's wise after what you've just been through. You should come back here for medical... Not now, Alfred. Electrocutioner's gloves emit a powerful electromagnetic signal which I can follow with my scanner. He'll lead me right to the Joker. But I need to get out of the steel mill first. And when I go, you're dead! Destroy the canister before moving on. Alfred. Sir? I'm uploading a chemical sample. I need you to run a scan of the city. Look for high concentrations of the compound. Find the source, and I can shut it down. Certainly. I'll alert you as soon as I've found something. Picking up electrocutioner's signal yet. I'll need to get to higher ground. The central pillar on Pioneer Bridge should do.
Clear. If you are 10 10, please report in for potential assignment. All these rumors going around. What are we supposed to do? Look, no one knows anything for sure. Best thing is for us to just keep doing what we do till things calm down. I'm telling you, Sionis is dead. Him and his girl both. We gotta find a new gig. The gig we got is just fine. Worst case, somebody else takes control. They'll still need muscle and we'll still get paid. Guys, huh? It's freezing. They'll be here soon. Probably just held up. It got them's a bit of a mess tonight, in case you hadn't noticed. That's my point. For all we know, one of the assassins took them out. Or the bat. And if they don't show, what are we supposed to do with all this crap, huh? You can't exactly drag that canister back to the lab. I don't believe it. Uh... Oh, yeah? My board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. Sorry to intrude, sir, but I'm receiving reports about a disturbance nearby. I'm sending the coordinates to your map. You may wish to investigate. This is the test. to find out who. The helicopter was spinning out of control. The pilot was killed on impact, not from the gunshot I heard. But what caused him to lose control? Maybe I can learn more back on the rooftop. the first point of impact from here. The helicopter's tail rotor was severed when the fuselage hit the building. I should review the crime scene and find that tail rotor. The 
helicopter crashed when a high-powered round shattered the tail rotor. The ballistics analysis will lead me to the shooter's position. doesn't add up. This man's a member of SWAT. So why'd he fire on a police helicopter? This man didn't fire at the helicopter. He was aiming at me. The ballistics trace indicates this officer was killed by a ricochet from the same round that took down the chopper. There's only one person capable of a shot like this. Dead shot. The trajectory analysis will lead me to Deadshot's firing position. This must be where the shot originated. I should scan the area. All units, getting calls about a disturbance. Stand by for location. Just as I suspected, the shell casing matches others in the criminal database, and they're all linked to Deadshot. But his trail ends here, unless... There are numbers on the bullet casing. 451-326. Looks like a radio frequency. Hello, Batman. I see you decoded my message. Well done. But I'm afraid, playtime's over. Come meet me at the bank so I can put a bullet in you and collect my prize. Oh, and in case you're thinking of that now, I've got a hostage and a very ishy distribution. Someone a little more intimidating. You're through terrorizing Gotham. If fate's decided today's the day, so be it. Just finish me quickly, will ya?
You heard the latest? Cyanus is back. Told you he wasn't dead. No kidding. Joker had him locked up at the steel mill, but he's out now and looking to get back to work. What's the plan then? Nothing changes. We'll get this canister unloaded and then he'll let us know what else needs doing. We're gonna need more. Ah! Take his eyes! I just need to track the signal to his location. The signal's getting stronger. The Joker's meeting must be in New Gotham. There's the signal. Looks like the electrocutioner is inside the Gotham Royal Hotel. Working together is kind of fun. I mean, we're actually getting stuff done. And my dad thinks I'm just sitting in his office texting and watching TV. If only he knew. Justice, you killed a man. Why? He was gonna expose our counterfeiting. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Alfred, let GCPD know that Chucky e. Burks has been apprehended for the murder of Owen Grant. Send them my current location along with the case file details. At once, sir.
Just waiting for the pickup, boss. Everything's quiet out here. Sure thing. Uh, you, uh, everything, you know, okay? Why wouldn't it be okay? Well, like with the kidnapping and everything. Now you keep your face out of my business or you're gonna lose it. This crap is up! Hurt me. Who did this to you? Th th they were all covered up. Like ninjas. Shiva. Who? Where are they now? I don't know. My partner shot one of them and split. They finished stringing me up and took off after him. You should call the precinct, have them send a car for you, then find some place to wait. Will do. Thanks. I should be able to pick up a blood trail. This should lead me to the other officer.
too late. Why did you kill him? Because you wouldn't. He was corrupt. A murderer. But there's no justice in this. What do you know of justice? Behind bars or beyond them, these people never change. As long as they live, Gotham is stained. This isn't the way. And here I thought you might understand. Still, the test must continue. Meet me at Sheldon Park. <sighs> Damage is going to make evidence collection difficult. I should start by identifying the victim. Dental records indicate his name is Alex Kane. He's a small-time arms dealer that frequently works with the Penguin. Cause of death was a gunshot wound to the heart. The fire must have been set in an attempt to cover the killer's tracks. DNA evidence indicates the killer fired from close range. This suggests the two men knew each other. Maybe it was a deal that went bad. Interesting. The fire was actually started by the victim. Chemical residue points to an incendiary grenade. Guess an arms dealer always comes prepared. The spread pattern means the killer would have been trapped here, though. But there's no second body. He must have found a way out. The killer made his way up the wall in an attempt to avoid being overcome. I should follow his route and see where it takes me. Hmm. There's no way he could reach that ladder. I should review the crime scene to see how he made his escape. Prints belong to King Lu, one of Penguin's top hitmen. Chances are I'll find him at the docks. I wonder what Kane did to deserve this. Attention all units, we need everyone on assignment. No 1010s, no further notice. most of it, but I helped, right? I think we make a pretty good team. So if you're ever, like, I don't know, looking for some kind of partner, I'm here for you. Anyway, I'll let you get back to kicking ass and keeping us safe. And you'll see, one day my father's gonna figure out just how cool I already know you are.
Joker's booked out the Royal, but why are SWAT providing security? I need to find out what's going on here. Hey, Brandon's doing you a favor here. Don't forget it. Good Lieutenant Brandon's a friend of us. So much with all the train tracks. It's a surprise. Now why don't you go back to your post and let us finish our work? I'm fine right here if you don't mind. Who says I mind? He don't look happy! Master Bruce, has the Joker taken a room at the Gotham Royal? He's in here, and SWAT are doing his dirty work, keeping Gordon and the media away from whatever's going on inside. Doesn't Brandon realize it's not Black Mask he's working with? I guess you'll find out when I bring in the Joker. Hope he doesn't leave us back. Joker's ambulance. He must be in the building. Just where in the hotel the Joker is located? Not yet. Why? Well, it looks like there's a security room in the hotel lobby. You could use the cameras to find him. Okay, I'll try that. There are enough explosives here to take down this building. Wonder what other surprises I'll find.
Get inside the security room. Friends, assassins. Welcome to our first quarterly performance review. As you can see here, Batman deaths are coming in far below projections. <laughs> we are really gonna have to turn this around. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Cushioner? Just who the hell are you? I'm the guy with the money. And the gun. <laughs> so, when I hire you to kill the Batman, you shut, shut the hell up and kill the Batman! So do you have any... Anything else to contribute? I didn't think so. Want a piece? All right, meetings adjourned. Get out there and kill the bat. Move it along, big boy. No, he's coming for you now. And when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. So you wait. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. <laughs> that lift should get me up to the ceiling so I can get out of here. Maybe Electrocutioner's shock gloves could restore power to this platform.
What about Gordon? No sign of him. He's got no idea anything's going on. All right. Then be ready to move when I arrive. Were you able to find the Joker, sir? Yes. He's in the penthouse. I see you profited from my advice. Yet again? Not yet. Getting to him won't be easy. The elevators are down, and the Joker's men are everywhere. Well, I have no doubt you'll figure a way up there. When do we get to off the hotel bed? We gotta keep the guests locked up. Yeah? Why is that? Joker's got all hands redecorating this fine establishment. You ever think who this is all for? The guests? By the time we're done with the joint, it's gonna be a damn house of horrors. And they're gonna be stuck in it. <laughs> to think they paid 300 bucks a night for this. Sounds like a reasonable cost of admission. Look who it is. They were lying about him. Lucky for you, your dear friend Bane just refused to start the meal without you. <laughs> Apparently, he prefers his dishes served cold. I won't. I'm here to help. Okay, please. Please, they've got my friends. Holding them hostage in the overview bar. Where is that? The suspended bar between the towers. The overview bar between the towers. Hurry, they need your help. just for you right up here. And it's wrapped in about 400 pounds of muscle.
crap! Uh oh, Batman, hurry! Someone's about to get shot! <gasps> For you, I mean. For me, it's... It's just all... Don't a little extra for you! Ah. You're making a mistake! Shaft. Six two Brandon. Has Black Mask responded yet? Negative. No word from him since he entered the building. Son of a bitch, Zion is thinking he can ignore us. What about Gordon? We got him investigating a B and E out of the abandoned amusement park. But where is Vicky Bales got with us? Damn it! I'm almost there.
say. I got a soft spot for cheaters. So bravo, Batman! Bravo! Oh, thank God. Let me out of this. Nice try! No way out of there! Guess you'll just have to squeeze right where you are until I start sending the hotel guests through. <laughs> That'll be a scream. <laughs> Aren't you resourceful? Now play fair. Don't make me take your little belt away. Uh, not again. Please! Now this, this is what I like to call Joker Says. And right now, Joker Says, you're gonna make this poor man scream his head off. If I try to pull him out, he'll be electrocuted. I'm going to have to play along. Now this one's my personal favorite. Reminds me of my childhood. The taste of the kettle cold. He did it. Oh God, he did it. I think the one little thing you need to work on is that sense of humor. You have inspired once tonight. And you know what they say. A it's smile a day keeps the reaper away. <laughs> You're really drunk. on the pavement. Come on, move! Who are you? I'm here to help. There are more of them. They have my co-workers. They're... they're forcing them. Don't worry. I'll get to them before anything happens. Okay. Hurry! Please, help my co-workers. Hurry! The bat ain't showing up. You all right if we ice these guys? Yeah, what the hell? Let's do this. He says we can kill him. Guys, look. I'm on TV. Hi, Ma. Hey, Vicky. Come here, baby. Get a shot of this. How'd he find us?
hurry to the penthouse and stop the Joker. Thank you. Whoever you are. You've got to stop their boss. He's some kind of crazy clown. I've heard about you. I didn't know you were... on our side. I need to get out of here before that maniac blows up this entire building. Those men are monsters. Monsters! set to detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer. Oh no! You found my snowman bombs! <laughs> oh, you just couldn't wait till New Year's, huh? Guess the fireworks are going off early! <laughs> the explosion of the Gotham Royal on the news of the hotel guests. Are they safe? Not now, Alfred. Sir, are you all right? Your voice... I'm fine, Alfred. I've dealt with psychopaths before, but this... Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. I see the Joker's men here have been eliminated. Good work. 
But remember, our primary objective is the bat. We must remain vigilant. He will not get past us. And this is the only way to the penthouse. We can hope you're right, but only time will test your words. The bat is coming. You're so greedy. You're gonna have to get all to drop in <coughs> and just in time oh, he's my parasol <laughs> <laughs> remember you gave your word you have one minute do they even have manners where he comes from <laughs> you see it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about... this one? <laughs> and a party in a pantry! How many lives did you just take? None! I think? That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> but this one isn't. moment. With your death, I will find peace. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I present I to you temptation. the death of the Batman. Let us see what you can do.
We'll stand by and watch you kill yourself. I'm calling Captain Gordon. No, not now. <laughs> I revel in this. We are as two titans, guys who battle for the soul of this city. Uh, guys? Can we move this along? I see I there is still something. To explode. Yes. Now beat it out of him! Gordon is on his way, sir. You have to hold Bane off until he arrives. Was the night before Christmas in all through the house? Me too, a He will blow to the wall. Won't be anymore. <laughs> when I'm done with him, I'll be coming for you, Payaso Loco. Run for your life! <laughs> he hit you so hard it hurt me! Rooftop's getting too hot.
You really don't want to know. They deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? The back. The partner. <laughs> My partner? Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You of all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy biting to a thunderbolt, unwanted party crashes, screaming to your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet Wait, someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own emptiness. Oh. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds... Delightful. Acceptance. Oh, yeah, that's a little tried, isn't it? You bank! Look, I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. Okay, one more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been filled towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world is? 
How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own. It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. No one cares. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped on this path leading nowhere. Into just emptiness. Now, now you feel like you've got someone by your side. To share the journey with you. And how does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh... My name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harley? Oh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Yes, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. The story back to the precinct. Well, I see that. Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do.
So I take it you won't be testing it, then? It's called field testing, Alfred. I need to find Bane. Is the tracker responding? Not at present, I'm afraid. Let me know if anything changes. Anything. You'll know as soon as I do, sir. I promise. I don't like this. allow you to go. You're outmatched by these assassins. I'm what? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Albert, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. be no not may be i am when the mugger or the thief stops to think twice that is fear that is what i am that is why they hired assassins because i am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises so no alfred i am not in over my head tonight will not be in my head but it will be theirs
I thought you had a city to save. So what are you doing wasting time with me? We just agree to disagree and go our separate ways. I don't think so. What's wrong with you? It's not like I'm backing the bad guys here. Well, not usually. You're invading people's privacy. You got how many assassins running around out there, and you're lecturing me on selling personal information? Way to prioritize. You're going after Gotham Optics next? Or maybe some telemarketers? Ooh. If that information gets into the wrong hands, people could get hurt because of you. And people do get hurt because of you. So I assume you'll be handing yourself over to the police now? <laughs> That's what I thought. I should try to use my new glue grenade to plug these pipes. Men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse.
The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. All available units, we've received reports of shots fired inside the Coventry district. Witnesses described two armed groups fighting over what appear to be chemical weapons. Requesting any available officers locate and secure the scene. Chemical weapons? I should investigate. I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. in the canister. A gift for El Jefe. One of many. Where are the others? I will say no more. Brother, we are at the point. But the Duende Cobblepot has sent his men to oppose us. You must come. I have what I need. Attention all units. We need everyone on assignment. No 1010s until further notice.
Why did you come? Don't you have a city to save? You killed a man. Yes. A lesson that seems lost on you. And many more will die if you do not learn it. Then you'll stand trial for all of them. <laughs> I admire your passion, though your cause is flawed. Now, let us fight. <laughs> Now let's see how you handle this. Learn quickly, Batman. Honorable, devoted. I see now why the Master has chosen you. It seems we have both learned something today. I don't care about you or your Master. I'm bringing you in. No, you're not. But you have earned a reprieve. I hope in time you come to realize how wrong you are about Gotham. It is not meant to be saved. It cannot be saved. Only cleansed. And from the ashes, reborn. <clears throat> Alfred, I'm sending you two sets of coordinates. One is for a body, the other's for a survivor. Make sure they get to GCPD. Of course, Sam. Shall we consider the case closed, then? For now. I doubt tonight's the last I'll see of Shiva.
Stop! Don't hurt me! What do you want? Answers. Did Penguin order you to kill Alex Kane? <laughs> I don't think so. If anything, Cobblepot's gonna have me killed for doing it. Then why? I was sick of playing heavy. I figured if Kane, you know, disappeared, I might be able to move up in the world. You're not moving anywhere now. Alfred, let the GCPD know where they can find Kane's killer. You can forward them all the evidence, too. It's already done, sir. to admit defeat. Where's the canister? Blown away. You'll never find it. Sir, your suit is picking up trace elements of a compound used in the manufacturing of venom. It appears the canisters contain ingredients necessary for its creation. I need to find out where they've taken them. Uh, may I suggest scanning the area? They could have left something behind that points to their destination. Looks like they're heading to my alibi. away from the tower, Batman. I've got work to do, and now you're just getting in my way.
give you that. But you're still no match for my vastly superior intellect, as you'll soon discover. Keep it up, Batman, and you're going to be very, very sorry. That's a crazy fight! Come on, you guys! You're quickly approaching the point of no return. I turn back if I were you. yourself, Batman. I mean, you took down all the towers, which means you foiled my plan. Except, oh wait, I already have all the data I need. And as soon as I'm done uploading it, so will everyone in Gotham. There's still time for me to put an end to this. True, there is. Just not very much. It was a valiant attempt, though. You get an A for effort, but an F for impact. He's a beast. Ghost to all that crap tonight, and the first thing he does is get the business back up and running. Heard his girlfriend got popped, too. Damn. Takes a cold man to shrug off something like that. That's why he calls the shots. me the trouble of having to hunt you down. You just don't know when to quit, Sionis. Guess we've got that in common. One way or another, I'm taking you in. Now we can do this the easy way, or- Yeah, yeah, or, or the hard way. But I think you know my choice. Then we've got that in common, too. With everything going on in Gotham tonight, you'll decide to waste your time with me. Ah. Where do we go? Your own business, bad. Oh, come on, just die already. Send him on. I've got the numbers here, back. You really want to spend the night strolling around with me in here? Show him. I can do this all night. 
Alfred, let GCPD know Roman Sionis has been apprehended. They can pick him up at the church. Straight away, sir. You know what's so great about you, Batman? Even when I lose, I win. So go ahead, call the cops. They'll lock me up, sure. But my lawyer will have me out on bail before the sun's up. And you know what I'm gonna do when I get out? I'm gonna dedicate every waking minute to tracking you down and taking you out. And the best part is, there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Because that justice system you love so much, it's a scam. And you, <laughs> well, you're the mark. Because you keep tossing us in, and we keep bouncing right back out. We should think about skipping time. Outside GCPD, this was no accident. Victim is Nate Ramo, a member of the SWAT division. His whole team is currently under investigation by Internal Affairs. I wonder what he was doing here. Looks like he was thrown a considerable distance by the vehicle. I can use the spatter distribution to determine the point of initial impact. This is where Ramo was killed. DNA evidence indicates the car was traveling at a high rate of speed, but the angle of spatter shows the driver lost control and the car was weaving. I should review the crime scene, see if anything else was hit. Analysis indicates a specific brand of paint that narrows down the make and model of the car. And cross-referencing these specs with a list of his team members returns a single name. John DeMarco. Time to pay him a visit. They're gonna be all over this! And then they're gonna be all over us! Relax. With Raymo out of the picture, they got nothing. This time next week, we'll all be back at work. What if he's got tapes or something? Some kind of written confession? This is bad. I searched this place after I took him out. It was clean. He could have stashed off somewhere. And if he did, it's not like he could tell anyone where it is. We just gotta keep our heads down and our mouths shut. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. That can't be him! Why did you do it, DeMarco? Why did you kill Ramo? I ain't didn't have enough to make the charges stick. But the kid got scared, made a deal, and decided to talk. <laughs> Traitor. You'd have been out of jail in a few years on the drug charges. But now, murder means life. We'll see about that. With all the evidence I've collected, it won't take long for the jury to convict. Funny thing about evidence, it has a tendency to disappear. Not on my watch. Alfred, let GCPD know that Ramo's murderer has been captured. I'm also sending you a taped confession. We'll bring down the rest of the team with him. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by.
Enigma, where are you? I'm right here. Well, figuratively speaking, anyway. Disappointed I didn't choose to meet up in person? What's this about? Thionis hire you to throw me off his trail? Think of me as an information broker. I've got data handlers everywhere, feeding me all kinds of interesting stuff. And you think this is going to destroy Gotham? Oh, yes. See, bullet wounds and broken bones will eventually heal. But incriminating photos, videos, emails, that kind of damage can never be repaired. Tomorrow morning, when I release everything I've got, the city's going to collapse. Resignations, arrests, deaths. It'll be chaos in the streets, Batman. And there's not a thing you can do to stop me. Try and get all caveman on my equipment. It's password protected, I'm afraid, with 10,000 volts of electricity. You lost, Batman. Might as well head home and get some rest. With everyone's deepest, darkest secrets about to go on public display, I've got a feeling tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for you. One way or another, I'm shutting you down. Destroying all the network relays will let me access his server. It's the only way to stop him. Those must be the handlers he was talking about. I can use them to track down the extortion data he's been collecting. Well, look at that! You figured it out! I'm impressed! Annoyed, too. But your achievement signals a level of intellect rarely seen in Gotham. It seems you're quite the riddle. Now, don't get too comfortable. You see, I learned something else tonight. The nastiest, dirtiest little secret you can imagine. It puts the rest of my collection to shame. But I'm going to wait to release it, if only because it means I get to watch you squirm as you wonder what on earth it is. I'll be in touch soon. Looks like he's no longer an imminent threat. I can close this case. For now, at least. Looks like it's part of a larger set. If I can collect enough of these, I should be able to read the file.
Plenty of diners. I'm open. We could break into one. What if we get caught? Can you imagine? Uh, sorry, officer, we didn't steal nothing, except for some food. Yeah, you're on your own with that. I'm not getting arrested over a sandwich. Leave now, and we will spare you. Fine, you want the club? It's yours. But when the boss finds out about this, he will stay away if he values his life. Ah! The bat! You have come as Bane said you would. Fly down from your perch then, so I can kill you! I thought you'd never ask. Lieutenant, putting you away should set him back. <laughs> Bane already has all he needs. He will find you. He will break you. Alfred, put in a call to GCPD. They'll want to bring these men in for questioning.
very well. I only... Do you think you will pick many more volunteers for the trials? I cannot say. <laughs> I am third in line. Good luck to you, mi hermano. Hopefully the formula will be perfected by the time it comes to you. My life is Bane's to command. It will be an honor to lay it down for his cause. Then I pray you do not freeze before you get your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Damn this city. Take him down! <laughs> The tracking signal I saw was coming from somewhere down that tunnel. Tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Impressive work, but it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on the brain's memory centers. Some of this research is dedicated to overcoming his own addiction and dependency on Venom. He can't survive without it. Project TN1. Looks like Bane's experimenting with a new form of venom. Whatever it is, it must be what caused the physiological changes I saw in the corpse back at the GCPD.
you're not safe at Wayne Manor. Got it. I'll call the police. No, I can't risk them discovering my identity as well. Just secure yourself in the Batcave. What are you going to do? I'm on my way to you. I'll figure something out. I need to get back to the Batcave, and quickly. Firefly. He must not know Joker's behind bars, and he's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 6-5 to dispatch. Who's the OIC of Pioneers? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. A lot of lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. And if the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Uh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. on my order. Do not provoke or engage the suspect. He's got hostages in the bridge sublevel. Just get yourselves into position. I need to draw Firefly away from the bridge so I can approach safely. sends his men into a trap. Dispatch, this is Marine 4, we're the tactical command post. We're supposed to report the cord. TTP is inside the center pillar at the base of the bridge. 10-4. Any idea how many hostages he's got? Lots, I heard. Hopefully Gordon gives the word to send in SWAT, and we can go home. No, man, that's not what you want, trust me. Brandon will shoot everything that moves, and then we're stuck tagging and bagging all night. Yeah, not to mention the paperwork. Ah, uh, don't get me started. Dead civilians are such a pain in the ass. You just crossed the line! Back up, here he comes!
send in your men. Firefly has the bridge rigged with explosives. Show yourself! You have a go. No! Call them back. If Firefly blows the bridge, there's no telling how many will die. You're the reason those people are in danger. He's doing this for the bounty on your head! Give yourself up! I'm going to bring in Firefly myself. Don't send anyone else in until I tell you it's safe. You'll stay the hell out of this! You hear me? Guards tell me how many bombs Firefly has and where they are. So, what are you gonna do with your ship? Gas main with his flamethrower. Fire in the north end. Damn it. 
I'm remotely engaging the fire door in that section to protect the hostages. after the bounty on my head all night. Untie me, you self-righteous son of a bitch! It was never Sionis. The Joker put up the bounty, and now he's behind bars. I heard, but I still got a score to settle with you. I'm giving you the rest of the night off. You took an oath to uphold the law. When I see you again, I expect you to be following that oath to the letter. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'll be watching you. locked his hostages in a train car with explosives. Open the fire door in the train depot so I can disarm Firefly's bomb at the north end of the bridge. Get off this frequency! Now! Listen, I'm on my way to disarm the bomb at the south end. Have this door open by the time I get back. You let me do my job, and stay the hell out of my way! Damn it. 
Alfred, there's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to those codes. Perhaps Captain Gordon... Gordon won't cooperate. I'm heading to get the other bomb. Get those codes to me by the time I'm done. Right. I'll do my best. Is everyone okay in there? Yes, thanks to you. You can escape down through the central pillar. Soon as I clear the room, head out. You... You're the Batman. You'll find the police at the base of the central column. Screw the police. You saved us. You're a hero. Just get yourself and the others to safety as soon as I'm gone. I meant what I said. I'll take you over a rotten cop any day of the week. We won't forget what you did for us. opposite end of the bridge. Is 
concerned, I have those fire door codes you asked for. Okay, I'll call you when I'm at the door. I also thought I'd let you know the hostages you released have escaped. They're telling tales of a hero who saved their lives. I'm not looking for praise, Alfred. I figured you'd say that. Would it kill you to light an offer bit, son? I want to see the look on the cops' faces when I blow this bridge into Christmas future. He's burning vehicles now. Half of the bridge is on fire. Keep your distance. Don't provoke him. The bomb squad is nearly here. We need to get to that last bomb before Gordon and his men force Firefly's hand. got the strength of ten men. Please, don't give me that baloney. He's only one guy, and there's no way one guy's got all this. You think we should radio Firefly and let him know the bat's here? We don't know the bat's here yet, and Firefly will burn us to a crisp if we're wrong. Let's wait till we're sure, huh? I'm sure. Who else could do this? I don't know. Like the National Guard or something? Fine, you're probably right, but let's just look around for some proof before we go calling it Firefly. That's all I'm saying. Do it! <laughs> Three of the four bombs. As soon as I defuse the final bomb. We're breaching now. You're too late. Alfred, open the fire door. As you wish, sir.
generating flash of an explosion or nice slow burn. The Joker's behind bars. There's no more prize money. You can give up now, or I can make you surrender. Your choice. Okay, me bad man. I just want to melt your face.
I should grab on the Firefly. Give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given the bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. Eh. You didn't listen. I'm not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. Come on, damn it! All units, all units, Code 10. This is Code 10 confirmed at Black Gate Prison. Suspect identified as the Joker. You're going to be all right. I know. I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I can't even defend my own home. 
Master Bruce. Now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own. But it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. See one alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No, they need us. Thanks. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him, then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Yes, sir. We're on it. Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA at Blackgate? Five minutes. Get gate open? Be ready by the time you're here. It's not true. The things they say about you. I had no idea. I heard about what you've accomplished tonight, and what you've been through. You need anything else, we're here for you. Good. We're both after the same thing. Let's get it done. Sir, I've been listening to the reports coming out of Blackgate. Everything okay? I should be asking you that. How are you feeling? Well, it's not every day that one's heart must be crudely resuscitated by defibrillation, but I must say I feel remarkably well, considering... Good to hear. Any arrhythmia, let me know immediately. Of course. But honestly, Bruce, I do think you have bigger things to worry about right now. Something is sending a strong electric current into the water. I should be careful.
the air I'm tasting now. Oh, man, I can't wait. I'm going straight to O'Kane's having a pint. What's it been for you, man? Eight years in here? Twelve. And what they put you in for? Drinking and driving. Ha! <laughs> and you're gonna go have a pint. What are you? The damn parole board? I ain't rehabilitated. And I'm really thirsty. Whatever. Just don't drive. You could kill someone. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. What are you in for, anyway? Manslaughter. Hey! Get to the ring! hiding. They really need to boost security in this place. I mean, twice in one day? Stay here where it's safe. The police will be here soon. Okay. Please, stop the Joker. You're the only one who can. What's it to you? You were almost killed. Eh, occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon. And he's waiting for you. Stay here where it's safe until the police come. Yeah. I'm sure I'll feel a lot safer around a bunch of cops. Get this over with already. I've had enough for one day.
Apparently, the Joker's afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried.
Let's do this. Okay, okay. So, what our friend Vane holds in his hand is a heart monitor. Once he clamps it on, every beat of his bacon little heart will charge the battery on this electric chair. And when it's fully charged... <laughs> so either you kill Bane... <laughs> no, I won't kill him. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve, or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown. The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. A compassionate man will be home, mourning the loss of his servant and lifelong companion right now. Yet here you are. There is nowhere safe! Chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. I got a pulse. I'm gonna jumpstart your heart. Kill you again. May you find the peace in death that you did not find in life. I'm not looking for peace. I believe my shock was to temporarily stop Kenny's heart. My only hope. And it's a lot! And you're proud! Toot toot! Welcome to the pain train! Fight me!
The game is over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah, put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> Thank God you had your vest on. He's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go. It's over, Alfred. 
defeated Bane. Thank you for the help with Bane. I trust he's down for good this time. He's secure, and it appears the TN1 Bane took damaged his memory permanently. Ah, does that mean he won't be revealing your identity? Looks that way. Glad to hear it, sir. And the Joker? He's still on the loose, but not for long. This is Captain Gordon at Blackgate Prison, requesting immediate medevac. Warden Joseph has been shot. Repeat, Warden Joseph is down. EMT chopper en route. 15 minutes. Tell them to hurry up! Where's Gordon? Sniper! Would your locals back for more? I'm not enough of you for one night. Not yet, you haven't. Son of a bitch! <laughs> This. Want the Joker? Take him. Help me keep these guys off the warden. Just came out of nowhere. the Joker. He went through that door. Towards the chapel. Thanks. Let me finish a sentence, you might learn something! You might learn that we're not so different. You might learn something about yourself. You need to learn to shut up. You know, it's sad, really. Makes me feel like you don't care to see the good side in me. Well, I guess learning is a lot to ask from you, meat for brains. But there's still hope for you! <laughs> yes! Oh, I've got great hopes for you. So come on! Do stop now! What are you waiting for? <laughs> you just can't get it through your thick skull! We both exist because of them! Give up! 
You've lost. to stop me! <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. And how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is, I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least, that's what I used to think. Art is That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Maybe, maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. Keeps us so far apart. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? Another crime before my time made your heart sad and blue. And so now you make me pay for things I didn't do. 
In anger, unkind words are said that make the teardrops start. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? You'll never know how much it hurts to never see you smile. You know you need and want to laugh, <laughs> yet you claim it's not your style. Why do you hide behind that mask? I'm trying to do my part. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold? There was a time when I believed that you belonged to me. But now I know your heart is shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same and it's tearing me apart! Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? <laughs> <laughs> Our next guest, political strategist Dean Snyder, has been following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? And what about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon, for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy, but I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. It isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb, just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. And after what happened tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened, so we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison, and pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operations. We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. <laughs> Figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. It's been a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn in? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Not until you're back safe and sound. Well... If you're sure you're up for it, I've got a few loose ends to tie up out here. And I could use your help. You can count on it. 
And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you for our breakfast. <laughs>